it comes to workers' rights, while a store in the United States, and the store is also here, Canada, called GameStop. It's a very popular store amongst people who uh, play video games, and it's a place where they can go and purchase the top of the uh, any of the new release games. Well, essentially, a store in the Nebraska shopping center had to shut down abruptly uh, which was completely unexpected by head office and regional manager as the four staff decided to walk out of their job and leave that note as you can see in the uh, image there. They left that note for the average shopper and it says we regret to inform you that we all quit and uh, we've been told by our district manager that we were supposed to have had this store achieving sales quota running perfectly months ago, which was months before a lot of us even got hired. Unfortunately, despite staff's best effort, we're not God. GameStop is an American video game, electronics, and gaming merchandise retailer. And essentially, um, this is have, they've been going through some turmoil in the past little while because A, for a couple of things, uh, their, uh, their ability to reach their quotas as online gaming has become a lot more popular. But um, now, and, and now since the, um, since the, the employees were imposed on high uh, sales quota, well, essentially they said that uh, uh, they've done everything they can and it's been impossible. And so I'm going to read the note further. It says, we spend our, and it, it tells the customer, the potential customer now that they've come to GameStop, they see the doors closed with this note saying, spend your money at an establishment that respects its employees. For my health, I had to leave. And this is what the former manager wrote. And he wrote uh, uh, essentially uh, saying that workers were demanded with like near impossible tasks for reaching those um, those sales quotas and uh, and so the four of them incited a walkout essentially walking out now this they're they're actually focusing on a regional manager and this is not the first time that this has happened another store went through something very similar who had to deal with the same area manager so that's very um, interesting in terms of GameStop keeping that area manager around which is a district manager as uh, this is not the first time one of their stores uh, has had something like this happen. And if you recall, uh, not too long ago, GameStop's uh, uh, market uh, stocks went through the roof, rising about a thousand percent in two weeks. And that was when uh, uh, some of the investors decided to invest and changing uh, the projection of the company, which made absolute history, if you recall. But this is, comes as a time where it's a lot harder for brick and mortar. And during the pandemic, with a lot of lockdowns and shutdowns that happened for small business, well, essentially, uh, this is one of the stores that was dealing with that. But at the same time, uh, when it comes to where the industry's changing and people, you know, accessing games online and no longer walking into a store and waiting in line and purchasing something physical. Now it's subscription based and uh, their ability to play with other uh, gamers. Um, so that's, that's where things are at.